hospitalized for six weeks in the fall of 1964. Wilt is sluggish at the start of the season, and at the All-Star break, he is traded to an old rival, the former Syracuse team, now relocated in Philadelphia and renamed the 76ers. The 76ers, as far as I was concerned, were the old Syracuse Nationals, which was a team I hated. Despite his misgivings, Wilt will turn the Sixers into a contender, gaining confidence in the playoffs as they battle the Celtics in a memorable seven-game series. In the last seconds of Game 7, Wilt's dunk cuts the Celtic lead to one point. Then an unusual break sets up one of the NBA's unforgettable moments. Greer is putting the ball on play. He gets it out deep and a hammer check. Two seasons later, the 76ers have built a team balanced and powerful enough to erase the pain of many past defeats. Wilt will be the foundation of what will prove to be a legendary team. It, it worked out well for me. It was the greatest thing that's ever happened because we end up uh, having, to me, the greatest basketball team that ever performed on the hardwood in the NBA. And of course, the guy who toured that team was Alex Hannum, who was uh, just a fiery competitor got the best out of the whole team. It was a powerful team. Physically, we were awesome as far as strength is concerned. And of course, that started with Wilt in the middle. You got this team and me in the center, and we've been together now for a couple of years. It just all really came together. I think our first 44 games, we were 41 and 3. The key word there is chemistry. Each guy knew his job and made it happen well. We had the ultimate in a power force in Luke Jackson. This was a guy who was as big and strong as anybody in the world with a touch as soft as you can possibly have. We had the greatest one-on-one -on -one player that I've had the pleasure of seeing in Chet Walker playing the other four. And now you go to the guard position and we start off with a guy named Larry Costello who had a great two-hand set shot. And then Larry Costello got hurt and we brought in Wally Jones. And Wally Jones was just what we needed. Plus he shot some 40-foot falling down on your nose head uh, one-hander that we haven't figured out yet. Kyle Greer was a jump shooter like had no equal from medium range. He says jump shot from the foul line when he shot fouls. Then you have something that had just started to become established in the NBA, and that was the sixth man, and that was Billy Cunningham. And he came off the bench as a, a white boy from Brooklyn with five black guys. I mean, it was incredible. The 1967 Sixers achieved the best record in league history, 68 and 13 while the Celtics attempt to defend their unbelievable string of eight consecutive NBA titles. The 76ers never allow Boston a glimmer of hope. For the first time, Wilt's team has the talent and depth to demolish their rivals. The series is over in five games, ending with a runaway victory in Philadelphia. The season was very rewarding to me because we were so powerful and we, we just destroyed the Celtics who had, you know, had that decade all locked up. That was the year that, uh, that the fans got on the, uh, the thing that Boston is dead. It was unbelievable. It was uh, probably the most thrilling moment in, in my basketball career. Hannum's skillful blending of talents produces what many will call the greatest team in NBA history. As the Sixers savor the taste of triumph over the Celtics, they are only four victories away from the NBA crown. The relentless Sixers keep focused on their goal as they overwhelm San Francisco in six games. A new NBA champion is crowned for the first time since 1958.
swarmed by his euphoric teammates. Wilt no longer has to hear he can't win when it counts. He has proven to be the leader of perhaps the greatest team of all time.